Hello, this is Kirill from ForexBoat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. And today we're going to discuss the Larry Williams formula. So let's get straight into it. This is Larry Williams' formula. Volume equals risk times equity divided by the maximum loss uh, per contract. And before you think that it's um, maybe a lot scary or uh, intimidating, let's right away um, discuss these four elements and you'll see that it's actually a very simple formula. So um, I'll put the formula up at the top and now let's go into them uh, the elements from left to right. So volume is the volume of your transaction in contracts or lots um, depending on the market that you're trading. So on the forex market it would be lots, uh, on the futures market it would be contracts um, and so on. So uh, this formula, the output of this formula is um, the volume that you need to enter um, into your transaction with. Risk. Uh, the risk is the tolerable, tolerable risk uh, in terms of percent of your equity that you are prepared to um, lose if this transaction goes uh, wrong. So we all know that um, in trading you will never get a result where all of your trades are profitable. You'll always have um, some trades that are losses and it's just a matter of um, it's, you know it's a numbers game it's about having more profitable trades or uh, earning more profit um, from your trades than losing money so um, you'll always um, have to understand that your trade might go um, might bring a loss and you have to prepare uh, and know how much you're willing to lose on this particular trade so this risk is a percentage of um, the equity that you currently have. Um, equity is uh, your free funds on your account. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. So it's basically the amount, the money that you can operate with that's not been frozen for a margin. Uh, if you have no open positions, then your equity equals your balance. And Lmax is the maximum loss per one contract or per one lot if you're trading Forex. So basically this means is that from your historical, this is actually quite the important part that from your historical trades, um, from what you've seen over the past couple of months or however frequently you trade, um, how much funds did your maximum loss take away per one contract? So you basically find your most uh, negative trade that you've had and you see how much um, loss there was on that trade per one contract. So you basically divide the loss by the number of contracts and that will give you the LMAX value. Uh, now, if you put all that together, you'll get the volume. So let's have a look at an example to um, better understand all of this. On the right, we've got the balance, which is about $10,000. Um, let's assume that we already have an open position and the margin on, on that position is $1,000. This leaves us with um, equity of uh, $9,000. Now, before we go on, if you're not familiar with these terms like equity and margin and you're um, seeing scratching your head um, trying to understand what I'm talking about, um, we won't go into detail about this in this course because um, this um, this is just the way your account operates and uh, these like technical terms and acronyms on um, the uh, financial markets. So you can either look them up uh, online; it, they're not they're not that complicated, very easy to understand, uh, or um, check out my course, which is called uh, Forex Training for Complete Beginners. Uh, and there I explain all of the acronyms and jargon on the Forex market, uh, which is often similar to other financial uh, platforms uh, like uh, futures and uh, stocks and so on. Um, so if you want to get some basic literacy, that's a good course to do that. Otherwise, um, uh, feel free to just quickly look up these things online. So uh, we have $9,000 of equity on our account. Uh, we want to calculate the volume for our next transaction. The volume will be given by Larry Williams' formula, risk times equity divided by, the, by LMAX. So equity, right away, we can plug that in, $9,000. Um, next, we're going to go to our transaction history. So there's like a image over there. We'll look through all of our transactions. We'll exclude the anomalies where um, something went uh, completely wrong or we're using a different trading strategy. And for this particular trading st strategy, for every negative transaction, we'll divide the amount that was lost by the number of contracts. And out of all of those ratios, we'll take the maximum. So let's say, for instance, that 
this gives us two hundred dollars per contract. So we know that in the in the worst case scenario, for every contract that we invest, we uh, will lose two hundred dollars according to this trading strategy. So we'll plug that into the formula as well. Um, and that gives us uh, one variable that we still haven't added, and that's the risk. So the risk is the tricky part. Um, uh, for now, we're going to say uh, that we'll just come up with the risk uh, based on our experience or from, uh, from our own judgment. But further down in this course, when we talk about the Kelly criterion, we will actually learn how to get this risk value, how to get, how to mathematically get the most optimum value of risk. So now we're deciding uh, how much of our equity are we prepared to risk on this one transaction. Well, further down in the course, we'll talk about how to derive this value, and uh, you'll see that it's it's just a mind blowing formula. Kelly's Kelly's criterion is just fascinating, and um, like when I learned it, it completely changed my life it's it's something you have to um have to know and have to use in your trading but for now we'll just say that risk is going to be uh five percent so uh, we've plugged that in um now we just have to perform the calculation and uh, that gives about 2.25 and it gives us approximately two contracts or lots if you're trading on the forex market so now we know how much we need to specify what volume we need to specify when we enter our next transaction and that's the important part that um, that's what the Larry Williams method is uh, trying to help you understand um, and also from from this formula let's just move to the common formula here you can see that um, the volume depends on equity and that's exactly what we talked about in the previous tutorial that as your equity grows as your balance grows on your account um, the volume will grow proportionately and that's what the Larry Williams method is all about so if your L max is constant so you know that per contract or per lot the maximum amount you can lose historically is two hundred dollars and your risk is constant you're saying that on every transaction I, I want to risk about five percent or whatever it is two percent um, then you can see that your volume will be directly proportionate to your equity and that will help you achieve exponential growth of your balance so that's all for today and in the next tutorial we will talk about the trap of the larry williams money management method very important tutorial and i look forward to seeing you then until then happy trading